hi today we will discuss analysis of beams by using cons method okay we had a three members okay one is fixed uh, and one is a roller this is a condition to determine the bending moment diagram we need to draw the bending moment diagram for this beam using cons method okay first step is degree of freedom so we need to find the how many unknown displacements are there in structures so we need to determine this so from the formula as we know that we got a three unknown displacement so we need to find the, the unknown displacements for this structure okay so from the boundary condition theta a equal to 0 due to the fixed support and theta b equal to theta b and theta c equal to theta c and theta d equal to theta d because these are the rollers so we had a rotation here then uh, Cornish method also has a displacement method so our assumption is to find the fixed end moment conditions okay so for point load our fixed end moment wl by 8 okay here our assumption is clockwise rotation is positive from the right okay so the right line rotation is positive and left side rotation is negative okay here we got a negative value and here positive and similarly we got a uniform distributed load here so from the uniform is to wl square by 2l wl square by 2l is again point load wl by 8 okay here we need to very important condition note as we know that we got here roller support end end we had a roller support from the roller support but in this case we got fixed end moment is 25 okay so here we got end moment is 25 we need to balance the end moment and carry the end moment okay from this support okay okay this is very important condition so as we know that we got 25 as we know that we got 25 we need to add minus 25 to make the condition is 0 to satisfy condition is 0 so DC moment is 0 because the roller support so we need to carry the moment so 25 we need to add minus 25 hmm? carry the off of a minus 25 to here so as we know that modified mc to d is already we had minus 25 and minus half of minus 25 so we got a 37.5 this is minus 37.5 and the modified moment for d to c is 0 and next step we need to find the rotation factors as we know that b to a b to c and b c to d and c to b okay here we need to observe that we need to observe from end conditions as we know that as we know that b to a is fixed support for a by l and b to c as internally fixed support is as a 4d a by l and c to b is fixed as internally so 4d a by l c to d is roller support so we need to take modified stiffness factor so, okay c to d is 3 by 4 so, 3 l by 3 a by l okay here we need to take it as a 3 a by l okay as as per norms okay 3i by L because of this roller support and then as we, uh, as we know that uh, rotation factor is equal to minus of k by summation of k so we got all these things note here c to d as a roller support r and is a roller support so we need to take as a 3i by L so these things are we need to remember okay and fixed end moment minus 25 and plus 25 minus 26.67 and plus 26.61 here we got modified and moment okay this is we need to always remember we balanced here 25 from here fixed and moment condition from here hmm? we balanced from here 
25 so make the balance 25 minus 25 0 it become 0 and carried off so uh, 20 minus 25 by 2 here so it become 37.5 minus 37.5 so we got here minus 37.5 as well it is 0 okay so as we know that near in moment hmm, far in moment multiply the rotation factor okay so first of all again we will uh, fixed in moment we need to write fixed in moment okay and summation of fixed in moments gives the center value summation of fixed in moments give the center value okay summation of fixed in moment this and this will give the this in similarly summation of fixed in moments now gives the okay center value and rotation factor of b2 a and b to c and c to b and c to d okay from step one we need to find the b to a moment so b to a moment as we know that stiffness factor means a rotation factor distribution distribution factor into summation of fixed in moment this one at b to b plus near end moment and far end moment as we know that near end moment is zero and far end moment also zero because starting okay we got 4.2 and similarly and b to c as we know that rotation factor into fixed end moment summation of fixed end moment plus near end moment and far end moment as we know that zero and here while going here it will, be, it will become this is the near end moment okay As rotation factor summation of fixed end moment and near end okay and far end is zero okay similarly for c to d okay for second second for second second c of the b to a is so b to a is stiffness factor so means, uh, sorry rotation factor into summation of fixed end moment and far end moment so near end moment and far end moment sorry this is zero near end moment uh, is here zero okay this is uh, fixed always zero and uh, it far end will become the first cycles uh, one okay first cycle one similarly uh, you had any doubt uh, see just to whether check is up to three cycles okay and satisfy this okay check here it's very important table first we need to write the uh, moments and then the fixed end moments and near end moment two times of near end moment so two times of near end moment okay and far end moments so a b member uh, far end moment is b a member so it, it will come here and b a member far end moment a b member and b c members uh, b c c to d c to d members which uh, the similarly this kind of members and finally we will write a uh, summation of r moments okay from the band moment diagram here are the point load so we will carve it like this hmm. so, so finally here we got negative value so negative will support the anti-clockwise rotation clockwise rotation is positive so, so upward so lightly upward lines and uh, here we got point load so carve it like this and distribute carve like this point load again carve like this thank you